Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us for 10 minutes to discuss how you could support the well being of your team. Along the way, I think you'll discover ways to support your own well being. I'm Rich Safir, Chief Medical Director of Employee Health and Well Being at Johns Hopkins Medicine. And joining me on this journey is Carolyn Fowler, Senior Director for Nursing Well Being. Let's just start by acknowledging that you have a hard job. You are trying to, so, to get the work done and you're supporting the well being of your team along the way. You may not have looked at it like this before, but really, when someone on your team is not doing well, part of your job is to help them or support them get to a better place. So it's, uh, it's not easy. Uh, you're trying to get the job done. Sometimes there's a vacancy and then you might have to figure out how to spread the work or sometimes you fill in the vacancy yourself. It creates a lot of stress. And that stress doesn't just come from work. People come to work with stress from their home life and you have your own stressors. I mean, there's no one who's escaped having some stress or additional stress in the past year and a half. So maybe just take a second or two to acknowledge, hey, I'm doing great. And, and maybe that's corny for some of you to close your eyes and tell yourself, hey, I'm doing great. But I think it's important to remind ourselves that if you showed up today for this, you are doing great. You're taking a step for your own well being and the well being of your team. And that caring is going to pay off. So every Wednesday at this time, except for before Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, we'll be having this program, which means we'll have like 48 or 49 um, episodes. Not every one of them is going to resonate with you. Um, some are going to feel more natural to you than others, and you'll figure out which ones you think are going to sit well with your team as well. There'll be lots of options. Now, give yourself a gift. Uh, make sure you turn off your phone or at least turn, make it on silence. Um, you don't want those buzzers, beeps, and bells distracting you. Maybe even shut your outlook so you don't get buzzers, beepers, and bells from that either. Let's go. What is well being? Well, simply stated, it's a state of feeling healthy, happy, and well. And yes, that's really simply stating it. It's much more complicated than that. And when asking people what well being means to them, you can get a lot of answers, like some of the ones here on this slide. For me, if I don't get outside, I'd like to get outside every day, but if I don't get outside every couple of days, it really impacts my clarity, how much energy I have. So getting outside is part of my well being journey. And you have a lot of different people on your team, and just understand that everybody's well-being journey is different and we have to respect that but at the same time uh, so, so we need to be open to all these different paths and yet still have a plan to help people discover what the their own well-being journey is because many people don't haven't yet embraced what is making them feel good what is making them feel well you know um before I, whoops, sorry, scratch that. Why are we here? Why are we here talking about well being in the workplace as opposed to just having you take care of it on your own at home? Well, uh, let's put our jobs in perspective. We spend more waking hours with our job, or at least most of us do, than we do with our family. We spend more waking hours with the people that we work with than the people we live with. So our jobs play a huge role in our well being. And if we skip that part of our life, if we don't address well being in the workplace, then we're not going to get to our optimal state of well being. That's why we're here. But why team leaders? So we have lots of programs for everybody uh, at Johns Hopkins Medicine. So that's, you know, they're all there, they're all available. You're going to learn about some of them over the course of the year. Uh, but the reason why we are focusing on team leaders or managers, supervisors, whatever your role is, is because of what I said at the beginning. You have a tough job. And there are a lot of reasons why we should focus on well being for you. Some of them are on this slide. You know, we've all been around someone who's 
smiling and they're upbeat and they really help bring joy to your day. And we've been around people the opposite who seem to be sad a lot, which is really unfortunate to them. But we know that being around someone who's grumpy or angry, that can bring us down. So really, when we support well-being of yourself and your team, it's going to help you enjoy your day more. We also know that employees who leave work at the end of the day consistently not feeling well are more likely to be looking for a job elsewhere. In fact, employees who are burned out are two and a half times more likely to be actively seeking medical care. So if they leave, it's really going to put more stress and strain on your team and yourself. And finally, your health and the health of the people on your team. We know that when people are not well, and a large part of it, and it's about their job or their stress from their job, they're more likely to go to the ER. They're more likely to have a heart attack. In fact, heart attacks are most common on Monday mornings. You can guess why. I know that in my last job, I was impacted by feeling exhausted by the end of the day. And I couldn't sleep at night because I was thinking about my job. And unfortunately, it wasn't just that the next day I felt tired. It was that I was making less healthy food choices or the next day I couldn't get off the sofa at the end of the day and so I wasn't exercising. And eventually my blood pressure started creeping up. Unfortunately, I found a better well-being path for myself and I hope you find a, a good well-being path that fits you as well. So how are we gonna do this? We're gonna help you create a culture of health and well-being within your team. Now, the culture is it's complicated. It's got a lot of different uh, building blocks and you can see those on this slide here. The, none of these building blocks are more important than another. So it, don't think that because climate and morale, so, uh, social climate and morale is on the bottom means it's the least important, not by any means. And in fact, each of these building blocks overlaps with each other. A lot of different things intersect uh, in our well being. We are going to focus, though, on three particular ingredients over the course of this year. And I just put the red rectangle around them. Thank you, Tara. The, um, the, these ones in particular will be themes throughout the year. And you'll see at the beginning of an episode that we'll tell you which theme that we're going to be focusing on that day. We're focusing on these because we think there's the greatest opportunity for you as a leader to, to engage with these areas, not because we think the other pieces aren't important. So every week we're gonna bring you an agenda item for you to bring to your team. And some weeks we'll bring an agenda item for yourself, your own well-being. And some weeks we'll bring both. And so this week we're asking you to put well-being on your team agenda. So whether that's once a month or every other week or every week, give it a placeholder. Because if you don't start to give it a placeholder, it's going to be easy to forget that well-being is an important part of your team agenda, literally. Now, if you don't do your agendas on paper and a pencil, if you do like team huddles, you can pick a day that you focus on well-being. And every week, we're going to give you a different agenda idea, because many people are not comfortable talking about well-being with another person, yet alone their team. So we're going to give you ideas, and many will resonate with you, and some may not work for you and your team. The more regularly you do this, the, the more quickly and the more easily you're going to see a change in the well-being of your team. So it's an investment. Don't expect to see a change after a week or two, or even a month. This can take months for you to start seeing changes. Um, Tara is gonna put a link in the chat box. We're gonna have this uh, two question thing every week. We want your feedback. It's only two questions. We're really trying to make this a meaningful experience for you. So please um, fill that out. Next week, we're gonna be starting with the theme of leadership. Um, there's lots of resources. You don't have to wait each week for this program to under, get a better understanding of the other things that are available to you and your team. There's Healthy at Hopkins, as well as the Office of Wellbeing. 
Um, this uh, contact information will be on every slide deck. Um, we also have a Twitter and an Instagram account. We'd love for you to join us and build our culture uh, in the internet space or the virtual space.